Hey there, teacher friends. Battleship was one of the games we played in my classroom when we could meet in person. So let's figure out how we can do it via distance learning. If you want to play this game with your students and you don't want to make the whole thing, I have one available for you with teacher directions and a student tutorial linked for free in the description. So just click on the description to download it. We're going to start by creating a new Google slide so that everything fits on the page. We're going to resize it by going to file page setup custom 8 by 11. Now we need to insert our board. Time out! If you already have a board created, don't make a new one. Just go copy and paste it from the old doc into the Google slide and I'll show you how to secure it so the kids can't move it around. So we're going to go to insert table and we can make it whatever size we want to. If we want to make it bigger, we just grab the corners and resize it. So I'm going to fill in my columns and rows. Now I want to make sure any formatting changes I make, I make to this square because eventually I'm going to copy it for my partner square and I don't want to have to redo everything. Now that I have my first board done, I'm going to click on it and I'm going to press command D for duplicate and I'll just grab it and move it down. It's a little bit too big. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. So now they both fit on the board. Now if I don't want my students to be able to move or manipulate any of this, I'm going to go to file, download, ping or JPEG, it doesn't really matter. And I have the downloaded file right here. I'm gonna make a new page and I'm gonna change the background to this image. So all I have to do is drag it up. And if it downloaded from your desktop, you can just find it on your desktop and drag it in. Now it's the background and nothing can move. Now I'm gonna make my battleship pieces that go on top of here. Go to shapes, make a square and just measure over the size of the squares, how big you want it to be. If you wanna change the color, come here and you can change the color. You can press Command D to make some more of these. If you want them to be the same size or say you want a smaller ship, make it smaller here. But I want my students to have three ships. So I'm going to click on the first one and hold down Shift to click on the rest so I can get them all at once. And I'm going to drag them over to the side. Now I need a way to make my partnerships here. So I'm going to make some more shapes and I'm going to say if I hit something, I want it to be green. I'm going to move it to the side. Now I made enough ships up here to cover seven squares. So I need seven of these. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to duplicate it six more times. And I'm going to drag my mouse over all of these here. Go to arrange, align, center, arrange, align, middle. So now the pieces are on top of each other. And if I drag them across, I have multiple stackable pieces. I'm going to do the same thing to make the markers that indicate I missed, but to save myself time, I'm going to drag my mouse over to select all of these again. I'm going to press duplicate. Now I have another stack of the same ones, but I'm going to change this to be red. And now all of these are red so I can mark them that way. So now that you know how to create your board, you have to figure out how to share it with students. So you're gonna just upload the board, you would any other assignment, and make sure that you select make a copy for every student. Then assign students partners and send them into breakout rooms so that they can play with their partner. So what you could do is put them in breakout rooms of four and have them partner up there. And one partner shares the board with the other partner. And then you have less breakout rooms to create. I hope that helps. Good luck. What else would you like to learn how to do during distance learning? Comment below.